is why there's no sound. You know, um, nobody want to read. Uh, we became uh, we depend in somebody to tell us what to do. You know, I mean, we have a sign. It says we have no sound. We will start soon. Obviously, that's me. We did not start yet, and it says there we have no audio. And yet, people complaining why there's no audio. Nobody want to read. Uh, so. As you see, this link is ex exists there for a reason. We have it almost in every single, uh, you know, uh, video. The link of Patreon, the one you see in the screen. This is not there for uh, decoration. You know, this is exists for a reason. So anytime my channel is gone, it doesn't matter if we have a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. They can take it down. I mean, this is a company they own, they control, and we know that those atheists, they always side with uh, Mohammedans. It doesn't matter what you do. Imagine the video, which it says why there's no love in Islam. That video, they accuse me of hate speech. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, I'm asking in the video, why there is no love, no music, no etc. in Islam, and the, and the same video, <laughs> Violation of hate speech. <laughs> I mean, it is really hilarious and it's really stupid. Uh, and, uh, you know, if somebody want to speak to somebody, please be careful. Like here, we, we have a Kufar boy. He says, Palestine is Allah. Allah is not God, you donkey. Well, you know, take it easy. I mean, if you want to tell him, the guy is not being rude to you. He is not going to insult you. So why tell him he's false god? And why you are calling him donkey? Maybe he's not. Maybe he is. Did you check him? Did you not talk to him yet? Be careful. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but it doesn't matter for us. You see, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I accept that this is the conditions. And who care? We will create. And I have a thousand uh, YouTube channels. <clears throat> They close one, I start going live in the second one. Who care? You know, what a big deal. And people will find me. I mean, people, they don't come uh, here because uh, uh, we have, uh, I mean, wherever I go, it doesn't matter really. I mean, this channel or different channel, who care? You know, as soon as people, they notice where I am, they will follow. And there is people who they are, let us say, more smart than others. Right away, they use their brain, say, okay, you know, his channel is gone. Let us go to Patreon. You know, uh, he have TikTok now. Uh, soon I will start, uh, you know, posting videos in Rumble. So you can always go and get the update where I am. And then you just follow, subscribe to the channel. Who care? You know, uh, we don't care really about what they do. We care about what we do. Right? So I hope next time, if we lose a channel, people will not be confused about where to go. You are smarter than this. You know, and we have a link for you in the screen always. And there is always they can people they can update you. Like you know, you can go maybe to uh, Omad, Sheikh Omad. He can tell you we're a Christian prince now. You know, uh, my my admins they will tell you. Um, Yeah, well, what we can do, I mean, the, this is this is their uh, time. You see, we have the atheist because of their uh, hate to Christianity. They side with anyone is anti-Christianity. As simple as that. <clears throat> Did you see any any Mohammedan? He uh, he don't have advertising in his videos. Did you see anyone? Did you see any one of them? They strip him from able to collect donation. Only us. Only those who speak against Islam, they have no privilege. They don't allow us even to continue. Uh, they don't allow us to collect donation. Uh, they don't allow us to have, uh, to make any income, you know. And uh, they are waiting for us to make any, any reason for them to make, to take you down. As simple as that, you know. But it's okay. That is even making it better for me. It's more challenging. It's more fun. Uh, <clears throat> You see, actually, I am the kind. I am. I do less work when I am relaxed, and I do more work when I am challenged. Like if you threat me, you have no idea what you are dealing with. 
if you are nice to me, I will, you know, I will act normally. So I'm not the kind who like uh, 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 run away because of uh, they put stress on you. I, I don't care. You know, you, you take a channel, you take 10, you take five. Who cares? I'll create one. Take me five minutes. Go live. Very easy. Uh, it's always depend in uh, in uh, in who you are you know uh, they can be successful if you are the kind who give up easy and you know for me uh, who care it's just a stupid youtube <laughs> who care <laughs> honestly what a big deal you know actually you know sometimes i say to myself well, maybe it's a good it's good to be banned for some time so i can working in my books and finish them, you know, better than uh, spending too much time with a stupid YouTube, right? Uh, but I know what we do is very important on YouTube, but I think uh, books is more important. So there is a time, like I think about it, you know, my books is taking forever because I'm not having enough time. Like after you finish from YouTube, you know, like writing need, uh, it's just not just time, you know, you need to be in the mood of writing. It's not just writing, you know? And, uh, you know, for me, talking is a lot easier than writing because my English skills is not really that good. So I have, uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 writing is, is not easy. Talking is a lot easier. And even when we write, we have to ask some friends to help us and to fix the grammar and spelling mistakes, etc. you know. Uh, uh, it's a, so like writing is not really that that easy, you know, but still, uh, thank God, uh, you know, we have people who help and our books is published in many languages now. I mean, I'm really uh, amazed about how many languages now we have. Like one day writing a book, it was an idea and it was a challenge by Muslims, not by me. A Muslim Sheikh, he says to me, as long as you claim that you are knowledgeable, how come we never heard of a book of yours? As long you are knowledgeable where is your books so i said to myself well he, he. brother and sister you got the point sister so we are going to write a book for you and i start writing books <laughs> uh, secretary who do speak good english yeah you know that the muslim they think i have secretaries i have people who answer my phone they think i have a building center you know they don't know that this is one guy he do everything Honestly, they think I have, if you see how they talk about me, they think I have an army of people who, you know, like, uh, yeah, here. Don't become a slave of your editor. What does that mean? My editor, the one who do editing is just to fix the grammar. What's slave? What does this have to do with slavery? That's deep. <laughs> Somebody will correct my English. What does that have to do with slave of editor? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so take a note, please. Like uh, We will be live tomorrow, but not in this account. Take a note. Not in this account. We will be live tomorrow in the Arabian Prophet. And if you did not subscribe there, subscribe. And always... If you are lost and you do not know where to find me, let us say this channel disappear. The Arabian Prophet disappear. I have many channels, as you know, you know. Uh, what you will do, you go to Patreon. As you see, the link is in the front of you on the screen. There, uh, uh, for sure, I will have a post saying to you, well, we are now in the French channel. Very simple. Soon I will post an account for Ramble videos so in case in the emergency i pause there and I say hey guys we are there and this is how you find me and then your, your, your duty is to help to spread the news so those who do not know how to find me they will be able to know right yeah they think the jews are paying me you know yeah i wish that's really good you know <clears throat> But as you know, for me, I don't uh, side with anyone. I say the truth. You know, when a rabbi, he says something stupid, we made him shish kebab, right? 
we don't care when when somebody he is a catholic or a protestant priest and he says something stupid we make him shish kebab too so we are we side with the truth not with the individual not with a group we don't care who you are what church you go to you say something stupid we give you the degree as a stupid never side with the, with someone side with the right and wrong you know if it's wrong it's you're against it if you're it's right you are with it doesn't matter who said that <clears throat> uh, you see we just uh, saw here a comment just to show you I am back that you are I'm glad you are back in the main channel well, there's no main channel actually this channel is not main channel who said that this channel is my main channel my friend who told you and what main channel mean I don't have really any main channel. Those are just a silly YouTube account. It's not a building. It's not a house. It is not something important. It's just a place, an address, a virtual address in the internet. So my friend, please remember, all those accounts, they can disappear any minute, any minute. YouTube as a company, they are against us. I never actually had the total <coughs> of 100,000 subscribers. Each time before I reach, usually 80, 100, before I reach the 100, I will lose channel for sure. Like I saw some people complain, like David Wood, he complained that they have a strike, but David Wood, he have more than 1,200 videos, I think, in his channel. I cannot even keep a video. I mean, nobody make videos as I do. And nobody stay for many hours as I do. But I don't have a video in my channel because if I have them, my channel will be gone a long time ago. So when David Wood, he complained, he have his channel for more than 10, 12 years, I think. And he have more than a thousand something videos. You are, you are lucky. They are not really, they are being nice to you. And you know, people, they usually, they subscribe to you when they see your videos. They go to a channel, they say, David, there's no videos. Who, what, what this channel is, you know? Unless they know you. So when you, when you see 100,000 subscribers in a channel of mine, uh, that is really uh, very good. Because there's no videos. Why are people subscribing? So those who subscribe, just because they knew that this is a Christian Prince channel, Otherwise, they are not. There's nothing there. I mean, look at this channel; it's empty, totally empty. There's nothing. I mean, I have uh, two videos about my book. And what is making me really upset that people they think that this is a, my this is main channel and that is not main channel. What? Who care? What this? What main channel mean? It's just a stupid YouTube address. Are you following the channel or you are following Christian Prince? I know, I know, but this is what make me always, you know, like we went to that channel and then there's nobody there. Nobody. 200, 300, 400. You know, like what happened? We used to go in that channel like six months ago every day. We have, um, I think, more than 90,000 in that channel. So somehow, you know, people, they follow like if you change location, they do not know you. <laughs> like who are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, and by the way, like uh, I noticed in the previous uh, broadcast, there was a guy, he came in the chat and he started saying, I think uh, David Wood, he do better teaching than Christian Prince. I want you to be careful with those people. They're, they can be Muslims trying to divide us and try to make us, you know, like fight each other. For me, I wish all of you, you can do better than me right now, not tomorrow. And, uh, for, you know, for this person, because I saw this, uh, I saw those comments after I finished the chat, I wasn't looking. Uh, if I was there, I would say to him, well, I'm so happy that he is doing better than me. He is my brother in Christ, and we love him. 
You see, when we uh, when we speak in, uh, let us say, uh, I criticize some work, but doesn't mean, you know, I we are against the person. Absolutely not. We are a family. We are brothers and sisters. And if I do wrong, you can say to me, but doesn't mean you hate me. So don't let those people divide you, right? Like I am, I get upset from David Wood the way he debate. I think he is not good in debating. But why people think I'm speaking against him? I'm not. I don't like the way he debate. It's very simple because he is so soft with them. He did not learn yet that this is a religion of mockery. They don't debate you. They make a mockery of you. And if you give them a chance, the debate will be turned into a mockery, and there's no answers, and you will look, look, you will look funny. And this is what they tried to do with him, and they did, actually, when they debate uh, Mimi Hijab. So the Muslims, they were laughing. In fact, Mimi Hijab was lying nonstop. Because this is how people, those people, they understand. They understand winning a debate is making mockery of you. And if you do not know how to deal with them, you will be, you will turn to be a, their joke. Even you are a decent man, smart person, saying the truth, etc. You know? It's like dealing with a bunch of kids jumping like monkeys around you. How you can deal with those people? Uh, So when we advise some Christians about uh, like changing the way they do things, we are not saying they are bad. We are saying, my advice to you, this is wrong. If you want to listen to me, you listen. You don't want to listen, it's up to you. Did you ask yourself why Muslims don't line up here to debate me? Why all of them they want to go into debate with David Wood? Because there they can find success. Here? They will find nothing but a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah. So reminder again, as you see, we have a, we have a, a message in the top in the blue. When you enter the chat, it says always go to Patreon. And I'm not asking you to go to Patreon to make a donation, even though we uh, we appreciate those who do so. But this is my work is for free. Patreon is open. I never locked my videos. You can ask anyone. They are open even if you don't have a username. Even if you don't have a username, you can see my videos. You know? Uh, because I make it public, which means shouldn't be need a username to click on it. I don't know. But uh, for me, I made them all public, all my videos. Uh, and sometimes, because we don't want them to flag our videos, we make the video enlisted, enlisted, but still for everybody. Which means, if you are on Patreon, uh, and you don't donate, you, are just, you have a username, you can watch the video. I never, never close my videos. Because I know, like many people on Patreon, they close the video, you have to donate, and there's like a stages, blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing business. And I don't want people to watch my videos because they made donation. Actually, I'm very harsh with those who make donation to me. If you see the messages, when somebody email me, I said to him, please save your message, your question, when I am live. The guy is making donation. But I don't treat him differently. Uh, so, you know, uh, anytime you like, you, you wonder where I, you can find me, go to the Patreon, the link in the front of you. Remember that. Do you remember Ustaz Abdul Samad? He was rejecting, rejecting, uh, rejecting, okay, from inter entering Singapore, sorry. Yeah, but I mean, you know, uh, okay. Well, you see, those things really doesn't make any difference. So, like, you did not let him enter a country. Okay, this is a smart country, but this guy is worshipped in, uh, in his country, and uh, he have his influence there. So he can influence people in Indone Indonesian people in Singapore without going there. Who need, who need to go to a country these days to have influence? This is like a you know, naive thing. It's not really. But I understand, you know. Uh, like I, can get, I cannot go to Saudi Arabia. But I, am, I go to Saudi Arabia every day. <laughs> so, you know, we have to be smart. 
and we don't need to be excited about the news like do you know they uh, you know who care what a big deal they did not allow him to come but the quran is recited in the quran it says fight those who don't accept islam so who care they blocked the guy but they did not block the book You know what I mean? What difference is going to make? Nothing. It's just a silly behavior for, from some government. Uh, actually, in case you do not know, when you, uh, when you do those actions, you promote the guy. Because those who they are like, uh, uh, let us say, the, um, the one is so much into Islam, when do you see you when when they see that you did that to their guy, they think he is the he's, he's good. It's like a sign. It's a flag. You are saying to them, "Well, this is the one you can trust." Look, they are blocking him. So without knowing, they are promoting the person, which is a very uh, you know any smart behavior. Let him come. Watch him. What he will say. If he says something wrong, arrest him. That is a smart behavior. <laughs> Not forbid him from coming. Yeah, well, you know, like most of most of, most of countries, they have no idea really how to deal with Islam and uh, and uh, some organization. Uh, we we will wait for to see what this Twitter will end. If if a Twitter will go back to the, I mean, uh, like now this uh, Musk, he will he will own it. As they, we hear the news, but until now it's not for sure. So if this guy he own it and he give a freedom again, I will open an account in Twitter, and then you can always, you know, get the, my news from a Twitter. I close my Twitter. I have I think I don't know twenty thousand, thirty thousand, something like this. I close all my account, all those social media because I cannot post anything. I mean, what the point? You see, uh, race is saying, race car saying, uh, PCP is back. I never went. I was online on every day. It's you who did not come here. You, because you're stuck with this account, you do not know that I am live. See, guys, what's happening? Look, our friend here, he said, CP is back. But I wasn't, I was online every day. Every day. Why people do not notice that we have a link in the screen? It says patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Why people do not know that YouTube, they can take my privilege to go online anytime. Why we don't ask ourselves, do you think it's normal that CP is not coming every day as usual? What happened? Obviously, something happened. So if you really care, you have address in the screen patreon.com you go there you will find where i am the last video i posted is going to tell you where i'm going to go live this is just a virtual uh, uh, address of youtube who care i did not go anywhere actually in the last few days i was going more live on air than other days like before we say okay we will wait until we have twenty thousand to go live you will notice even sometime in the same day I go twice. And this is what I say to Muslims, you challenge me, you will, you will find more work from my side. You want to fight me? You want to stop me? You will have a harder time. Uh, Yeah, in Patreon, when I post, like uh, like now, I post it, I will go, anything I post, Patreon will send you an, uh, uh, an email immediately, your email. You click at the video, if, without even going to Patreon, you're not even to check. Just sign once in Patreon, and don't, don't, don't make donation. Don't, don't, don't make donation. Don't be scared, because I know some people, the second you say money, they, um, you know, say bye-bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like the person who go to the church and he's you know he tried to leave before they start collecting donation because he don't want to donate. Why well, you want to leave? Stay. If you don't have money, don't donate. Well, it's not embarrassment. Not everybody have money. If you are poor, stay. So what? 
The church is, is yours, my friend. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, when we say two main channels, this is true and not a true because we can change those channels anytime. So I have the Arabian Prophet and Christian Prince. Those are like now because they grow more than others, but it doesn't matter. And the link again for my broadcast tomorrow. Tomorrow I will not be in this channel. I will be in the Arabian Prophet. And the link, the link for the broadcast tomorrow is down in the info. You click in it and you can join. And there is a relationship between the Greek seven heavens and seven Hindus heaven and seven heaven found in the Quran. Thank you. Well, you know, to answer such a question, you have to be a person who studied very well all the religions and the cultures and then you can come with the conclusion you know but uh, we need to remember like number seven is exist even in the bible uh, it is uh, uh, the, the number of perfection you know the perfection like god he created you know the earth and the heaven and then he uh, rest in the mean of he finished you know in the seven in the seventh day so the word seven is exist in christianity and judaism too Present the perfect uh, number, uh, the same as number three, uh, the same same as number twelve. So there's there's certain numbers, they have a, a religious uh, let us say background and meaning. But it's possible that somebody is stealing from somebody, possible. Uh, but you have to have extra knowledge, in order to connect the dots together. Yeah, like now there is four known channels, are for Christ, uh, quality of life, uh, Arabian prophet, Christian prince. Those are like, you know, established. And actually, Arab for Christ, it's made for uh, uh, teaching Arabic. So if you like to learn Arabic, you can always go there. And in case of emergency, let us say all my channels gone, that one they don't have excuse to take it down. Um, I can go there and post a, a video that says, guys, this is my new channel. <clears throat> um, yeah, we don't have seven heavens. The Quran doesn't say and only seven heaven. The Quran says there is seven heaven and seven earth. Seven heaven and seven earth. And that is coming from the Greek for sure. Like, you know, there is the Greek, they have some names like Venus, etc. Uh, so this is where the seven earth is coming from. Uh, uh, it says here as an example, chapter 65, verse number 12. Uh, Allah, he created seven heaven and seven earth. Similar number. You see it? Everything Muhammad he have is copied from somebody else. Anything, anything. Just, just think, anything you can imagine. Even the word Allah, even, even his name, Muhammad. How they can take down a channel? Well, if you own a company, it takes you one click to delete any channel you want. Those who work for you too, any one of them now, he can use any excuse to take down your channel. What do you mean how they can? They own the channel, they own the, they own the company, they own the, the program. You don't like it, don't come here. That's what they will say to you. And YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, they are more powerful even than the government. You cannot even sue them. Do you know that? Like, don't you know that they, they, they blocked the account of Trump? Like, so who is more powerful, Trump or me? Trump, he was a president. He is not, he was not a guy who worked in the post office. He is a president and they blocked his account. So what are you expecting? 
And the funny is that YouTube and Twitter and uh, Facebook, they've been given this power by the government so they can be protected to have a free speech. And then those who they are protected to have a free speech, they don't allow us to have free speech. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is, how, this is how silly the system is. So they gave them this power so they can protect free, freedom of speech. And then the one who will be given the power to protect, it, protect you from to have the freedom, they, you know, try to subjugate you and try to put you down. But for us, they can do as much as they want, but still we will, we will be back. You know, it doesn't matter. Take a channel down. Uh, we'll open channel in five minutes. And then take it down. We open a second one. Who cares? The important is that we are here to stay. And they will go. And actually, I can predict in the future that all those companies in the future, they will be dead. YouTube, Facebook. That's why I, like, I, I feel sorry for this guy, Musk for investing $40 billion in stupid website, because it's, it's nothing, he, he don't own anything, it's just an, it's a virtual name. It's not anything physical. Uh, and even the buildings they have, they don't, you know, it's not even maybe worth a few millions of dollars. Uh, because all those, they can lose their reputation so fast and they can be destroyed. As an example, if now hackers, they hack Twitter, and they put all the info information in online. Twitter will die. And their website will grow. People go there. If somebody come with a new thing, like TikTok now, uh, the reason the American and even Trump, he, he, he was trying to block TikTok uh, from USA, because they want to force the company, the Chinese company, to sell it. The American, they were not happy to see there's a competition. There's a new compete company it's not controlled by them. Uh, so those businesses, they will die, all of them. The same as they are born and they grow so fast, they will die so fast. That's why always I say to people, don't ever invest your money in such companies. Anything is virtual, anything is virtual, is a stupid investment, even if you are making money. Even if you are making money, like now, those uh, bitcoins and etc., they can disappear overnight. You can lose all your income in one day. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Palestine, he is saying that Abraham, he built the Kaaba. Well, I will help Palestine. He sounds like a nice person, uh, uh, Mr. Palestine. Let, let me show you from the Quran that Abraham never was there. From the Quran. And now what you will say? You will say, I'm not telling the truth. This is your Quran saying that Abraham never was in the Kaaba. Chapter 43, verse number 23. There's no prophet came to Mecca before Muhammad. Never. No scriptures, no prophet, nothing. Actually, not this one. Hold on. I, I opened the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this one here. Chapter 34, not 43, 34, 44. And we have not given them scriptures which they could study or nor send them before you, Muhammad, a warner. To who? To Mecca. It's in front of your eyes. You want to be, uh, you want to be stubborn? You can be stubborn. It's your business. But the verse is so clear. We never, uh, the Quran confirmed that Abraham have scriptures. It says Suhuf Ibrahim. Suhuf Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he have book the same as Moses. The Quran confirmed that. Chapter 79, verse number uh, 78, verse number 19. The last verse in the chapter. The books of Abraham and Moses. 
Okay, so now it's confirmed that Abraham have a books and Moses have books. Okay, wonderful. So now how we will fix this, that nobody came to Mecca and no one was a warner and nobody gave them scriptures. This is a clear proof that all the story about Abraham going to the Kaaba and his and Ishmael is a joke, is a lie. All right. Again, a reminder for new people who enter. Do you, do you see the message you see in blue? Next time, if we don't come online for some reason, maybe because YouTube ban us, maybe because YouTube cancel the channel. Uh, you go to Patreon, the link is in the screen, as you see. You do not need to make a donation. Click at the last video I posted and you will know where I'm going live. Did we take a note? Uh, what about the second Kaaba was located in Yemen? Well, that was not Kaaba. No. You see, there was 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula, according to Muslims, 26 Kaaba. All of them, they are counterfeit of the temple of al maqqa That's why actually Mecca, Maqqa, you know, the K in the language of Yemen, it comes as Latakha. Mecca, the same, you know. If I search right now, let me do that. Let us do a little search. Little search in Google, you will find that Al Makkah, Al Makkah, which is the same name as Mecca, and obviously the name Mecca itself is coming from Al Makkah, you know. Uh, this is why even the Quran says sometimes says Bakka. Is it Bakka or Makkah? Because simply the language, uh, uh, in some the letter uh, B switch to M, some the letter M stay as it is. So al Makkah is the moon god uh, temple. In the beginning, for a long time, uh, a historian, they thought this is the sun god. But then they discover lately that this is the moon god temple. And this is why the Muslims, they have in the corner of, uh, of the Kaaba, uh, they have something called the Yemeni corner. The reason they have the Yemeni corner, because simply those rocks are being stolen from here. So the, the Kaaba is a counterfeit uh, temple, small version of it. This was a huge one. And instead of going all the way to do Hajj, all the way to Yemen, you go to Mecca. It's a local, local worship store. All right. I hope I answered you. So guys, did you take a note? Is the link in the info working? Is the link in the info down working? Tomorrow we will be in the Arabian Prophet. For, from now on, we will be for some time, maybe a few months, we will see. We will be in the Arabian Prophet account doing live broadcast. Please take a note, subscribe, and always, 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 the easiest way to find where I am, you go to patreon.com slash christianprince. Click at the last video posted there. The last live podcast I did, and you will find me. Because those accounts, those channels, they can be deleted anytime. It's very disappointing that people do not know how to find me. When we have a link for you in every video, it says patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Uh...
since uh, various translations of, of the Bible do not are not reliable, well, I think most of them they are. But remember, translation is a translation, which means it's based on the ability and the skills of the translator in both languages. So always translation will not be perfect in any language, any book. Uh, like for me, I, I like the translation of uh, the Bashita translation, the Aramaic. Uh, obviously, they did a lot of work in it. And they connect the dots of the language with, the, with, with history to come with the, uh, uh, the better translation. But if you want to get the perfect meaning, you better speak the language then. Go and learn it. If you are a person who seeks reading, true knowledge, always know when the language is the best. Uh, uh, Richard Arun, if you use bad language, we have to block you. Anyone will use a bad language in the chat, we are going to block you. Period. We don't want street language here. And don't think if you are insulting Muhammad by using bad language, you are better. But obviously, you are bad like him. If you cannot wash your mouth and keep it clean, well, so how you are better than Muhammad? Well, this is in IV. Uh, I don't uh, accept it as a translation. And even though they say it like they, they, in the beginning, they have some wrong uh, missing verses and then they fix, they fix them. But I think it's full of mistakes and errors. As I said, it's dependent on the, the one who is... Uh, Sometimes it, it might be even somebody would receive you. You never know. How you know? I mean, I, I can now uh, trans make translation and print it. Yeah. It's about how dignity, how honest. And the Christian should not accept any translation. Uh, obviously, it's fraud. See, so Jehovah's Witnesses, they even, most of the time, they did not even change a word, they changed a the letter. And that will change the meaning. Like, instead of uh, the, the word was God, the word was a God. Just a letter. You know, uh, so if a translator, he is an evil person, he can fool you. Uh, for me, I use this translation. Until now, I did not notice any uh, error in their translation. You know, this one. It's called Peshitta Holy. Peshitta is from the Aramaic, you know, Aramaic word. Holy Bible translation. How I can ask question without disturbing him? You can ask me a question here, my friend. Mr. El Mata Moore. And as uh, somebody advise you, just uh, like this, see how my name sometimes ap appear in uh, orange? I like orange. Uh, so you can add my name in such a way, will appear in the chat like that, and then I will know that you're speaking to me. Can you speak and read Aramaic? No. I know little, but I, I cannot claim that I speak and I know. You know, always in life we try to learn. And, uh, you know, I did not get the, the luck and the opportunity to learn Aramaic. Can admin to tell me which website to open the Bible? I'm using this one for now. The Bible Hub. And this is a translation I'm using. Let me post a link for you. The Aramaic in plain English. What did Khadija see in Muhammad? Why not? She is an old woman, way older. She had a previous uh, many husbands before, and she had many kids. So, and he was young. Why not? Uh, 
uh, you see in the Middle East, Middle East always uh, men, they don't marry older women. They don't. And if you have kids, even if you are younger, you will have a really hard time and difficulty to find somebody to marry. But Khadija, because she is rich, she is rich, and this guy is poor, and obviously he is kissing his shoes to make her like him. He have a plan, and that's why she, you know, can you tell me who is Lord? I don't know what do you mean. Your name is Adonai Yeshua. Read your name, my friend. <laughs> that is a weird. Uh, did the, did this gentleman who was asking how to ask him a question? Did he post a question? Let me go back. You know, like uh, knowing knowing the language for sure is the best. But what you do in case you do not know it, very easy. As an example, I can now open the book, the, uh, any book, a uh, Hebrew book, and all of them they are uh, they come, you know, like English and Hebrew, let's say. And uh, there's many websites they give you each word meaning, and if you don't believe them, you can copy and search. So if you heard. A uh, working person who likes to study and learn and to check, you can do it even if you don't speak the language. Uh, as an example, when when the Jews they say, you remember the rabbi who said that when the Bible Old Testament speak about Mary, and it doesn't say the word virgin, it says she is young. Do you remember? This is what they say. They say the meaning it's not a virgin, it's young. How you get them busted? He's a Jew, he speaks Hebrew, you don't speak Hebrew. So he have is more powerful than you when it's come to the language. People would, will, will believe him more. You can go easy, right? Uh, first of all, like the logic. Not only the dictionary, the dictionary get them busted, but secondly, the logic. If the young girl she gives birth, well, there's millions of young girls give birth every day. So where is the sign? This is a unique sign. There's no miracle here. There is, you go to many places, you know, young girl giving birth. So if a young girl give birth, there's no miracle there. And if she is so young, well, she is a virgin anyway. <laughs> uh, why no quality of life video? Because there is more important things. You know, the game of uh, you do not know, uh, as an example, Arabic. You debate a Muslim right away, he says to you, you do not know Arabic. And then he himself, he do not know Arabic. And if he know Arabic, he try to make mockery of you. And then if you ask him, well, okay, I do not know Arabic. Um, can we accept your Muslim translation? They say no. See the hypocrisy? You think... Uh, then is moral to destroy the Kaaba? I know it's possible, but I want to know if it is moral for you. Well, the Kaaba is just a, a, a you know a building, and I think it's not trying to destroy it because it's a historical building, right? Any historical building, I am against destroying it, even if it was a grave of a of a Satan. I think it's a stupid actually to destroy any historical building, no matter what kind of worship they used to worship. Uh, because we are smarter than this. I mean, I understand in the old days, in order to forbid this is from spreading, but this is, I mean, now we are smarter, you know, we are more civil. So uh, Pharaoh, he used to own slaves. Should we destroy the, the statues of Pharaohs? This is what the Americans, they are doing in USA. Stupid people, you know. This is what the stupid liberals do. They go after a monument and they destroy them. But this is this is this is donkey behavior, because if you are treaty, you want to do that. Then we have to destroy all the kings in the world, all of them, the own slaves. We have to go to Egypt now and wage war and destroy the every single pharaoh. 
Nobody owns sleep as they do. But people are stupid, silly. If you want to find a fight against a cult, it's not by destroying a building, but by destroying the cult, the idea. Because you destroy the building, they build it again, who cares? As long as there's believers, you destroy nothing. It's like the one who burned the Quran. I mean, what you, what exactly you did? I mean, what the heck? Why you, what, you know, you're seeking attention. Some, they are attention seekers. They, I, for me, I don't destroy the Quran by burning it. I destroy the Quran by reading it. Why, uh, why the Muhammadan ins uh, insist uh, the converter uh, is Muhammad? Well, the question is why Muhammad did not say he's a converter. <laughs> I mean, is it hard for Muhammad to say I am the converter? He never said so. So this is you know this is just this is just a, you know kids' argument. Desperate people who try to make you believe in Muhammad. We could not prove to them that Muhammad is a prophet from our book. Let us see if we can use their book to make them believe. You know what I mean? Again, uh, please remember that we are going to be live for some time in the other account, which is the Arabian Prophet. The link is down below in the info. Click at the link. I don't know if the admin can post it for you from the info. Click at the link and you will see a coming video. It's not listed yet. I made it unlisted so people can hear. We don't want to have two, two live, two places. So click at that link. Subscribe if you did not yet. Remember always, if you lose me in YouTube, Always, you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Patreon is not only for donation. You do not need to make a donation. This is the easiest way to find me, where I am going to go live. Remember, those accounts in YouTube, they are virtual accounts. They are not real. We can lose them anytime. How big the number doesn't make any, any difference. For YouTube, it's nothing. You have a 100,000, you have a million. It takes them one click to delete the whole channel. So next time, if you ever lose uh, the ability to find me, simply you go to Patreon. And soon we will update your Rumble account too, so you can receive update. So what we will do from now on, if we do lose a channel, you go to Patreon. Click at the last video I posted, and this is where you will know. Because I might you know, create a new channel. Now, they delete my channel. I'm talking now, they can delete it. Who can stop them? Nobody. They own the company. The one who uh, delete account of Trump, he can delete my account. Well, which one? Which one is more powerful? A president of USA in the White House, or a guy in a small tiny room? I made Discord, but I don't like it. It sounds like a bathroom, you know, like uh, everybody is talking. You know, I made a Discord, but I don't like the. Save your question to me if it's about Islam. If it's about the Bible, try to go. You know, there's many channels they are. You know, here I try to do what nobody can do. There's many people they can teach you about the Bible, but there's only few they can teach you about Islam. So take opportunity of me existing with you so you can learn how to answer Muhammadans. Are you going to follow David Wood? step to delete uh, YouTube channel and move to other platform I don't know what uh, David Woody did I think he's still on YouTube right yeah no I'm not going anywhere YouTube until now is the most perfect place to expose Islam so we will stay here until there is something because the others they are not really too much uh, uh, easy uh, friendly and popular you know so YouTube uh, just open your channel. What a big deal! I mean, are you following? Are you following a channel, or you are following the person who is teaching the channel? If people are following channel, we'll stay with the channel. And this is what happened actually. Now, we did not go on live for uh, in this channel for like uh, a week, and people disappear. That's it. 
and they are complaining where to find your CP, where we can find CP. I mean, you have you have an address in the front of you on the screen. Every video, patreoncom slash Prince. Why you did not go? I am live every day, but in different place. Don't you know that YouTube can take me from the take the privilege of going live anytime? How many times even they stop me while I'm talking live? Not only like later. <laughs> I mean, sometimes like it take time for them to, uh, you know, take your video, etc. No, I was live. It happened many times. So if you care to 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 for the person who's talking, well, then you go and see where he is talking. You don't stuck with the channel. This is just a virtual address. It's nothing. Uh, he said he will delete his channel. If I am him, I will not do that. Why you are doing that? At least let them delete it for you. And you know. I don't find a reason for that. For me, if they delete a hundred thousand channel, I will come back. As long as YouTube is is the best between them for now, I will be back. I promise you. And what he whatever he went doing, this is his business. No, actually, they did not ban his channel many times. He's lucky. You see, David Wood, he have more than a thousand videos. They go back all the way to ten years behind. I can't even have a video on my channel. Look, look at this channel, how many videos I have? Nothing. So, compared to me, David Wood is really treated so nice. If I have a YouTube channel for 10 years, I will have 10 million subscribers by now. Because, you know, when you pass the, the, the first period, when you, like, you get to 100,000, then the uh, uh, the increase of subscription goes so fast. The beginning is a slow one. You know what I mean? So you pass the first 100,000, and then suddenly you go so fast, like you jump to 200, 300, 400. You continue. For me, if I have my channel since 10 years ago, I will have millions. But as you see, we cannot even keep a video. Yeah, if you subscribe to Patreon without donating, don't forget, don't worry about donating to me. Don't donate. Don't donate. Now, for sure, we appreciate those who support us, right? But even if you don't donate, you subscribe to Patreon, just make a username. Patreon, immediately, when I post something in Patreon, they will send you an email. You don't even need to go there again. Don't go to Patreon anymore. Just sign one time. And then, each time I go live, you will receive email from Patreon that Christian Prince, he just posted this. You click at the link and he will be there. Uh, and this is why, you know, for us, we are fighting the evil of, uh, of uh, those who try to take us down by saying, download my videos. Why I keep saying download my videos? Because this is the whole point, is taking my videos down, right? But when there's a thousand people, they download the video, and then another thousand, they download them, and then another thousand download, the video is all over. Good luck. Uh... Do we have any question? <laughs> Actually, if you look at my videos posted by others, <coughs> in the other day I saw a video, uh, uh, it's almost a million view. Can I keep that the same video, my video? Can I keep it on my channel? Can I have a million view? I cannot. <laughs> my videos are more safe in different channels because they target me. You see, they target me as a, as a, as a person. <coughs> Uh, transhumanism. Transgenderism. Well, you know, like everybody, he can come with his own theory. Like Muhammad, he came with a theory. 
that one day there's a group of people they did they, they break the sabbath allah made them monkeys yeah you know i mean stupidity is amazing and even sometimes uh, what it's called science is a stupid i believe that it's your brain who transform who you are as an example if you convince a person that he is a girl even if he is a guy he have a big mustache his muscle can carry you know a refrigerator he would act like a girl he would walk like a girl he would talk like a girl he would wear a skirt you know so it's what you convince yourself to be if you convince a female that she is a male she will act like a male and then she will believe that she is a male all is in the brain everything you do in your life everything you do in your life is in the brain as an example if a man he see a naked woman and she is beautiful he get excited that's natural but when he see his daughter naked he don't usually unless you are pervert why because your brain right away block the idea of you thinking about her as a female so you think about her as a daughter it's in the brain so that goes for everything if you see a woman in the street and when you look about her you look at her as in a sexual way you see only the sexual thing if you look at her as a smart or good friend or whatever then you see what you wanted to see you know a european person he go to saudi arabia and he takes selfie and behind him there's nothing but dust and sand and he's so happy excited for me i will never go there for a second it is so hot it is it's as dead it's this is dead land it's so dangerous it's so hot there's nothing you can't even find a tree to sit underneath but this european because he is desperate he never saw sand like this before and then if you take a saudi person you take him to switzerland he will go wow amazing greenery fountains uh, waterfalls because this person they are both are human one he live in the desert and he is desperate to see something green and the other one is living always in the green desperate to see something different it's all in the brain you know it's like a person he never saw snow he sees snow first time he's like he's like just born again you know wow look at this how beautiful it is and then you ask a person uh, why you have depression he says we live in the snow area we did not see the sun for six months the other person is so happy excited the other person who live in the snow he is depressed so one is suffering from depression because of the snow and the cloud and the other one is suffering uh, is enjoying his time because this is something new and then when the new become old we go back to the, to the depression you know when the new become old you go and you're thinking backward like you buy a car you are so excited now your car is old you complain my car is 20 years old but when the day you bought it you were excited so everything is you are used to is boring everything is unusual is exciting it's about how you think and who you are and how your brain function why is islamic color green because as we say this islam is made in the desert when you are in the desert what you promise you know desert people they don't have banana so we promised them banana have you ever heard of a god he promised banana in heaven <laughs> why you know because those are people of the desert you know banana grow in a humid area a, a warm yes but there's a lot of rain and uh, uh, you know totally different uh, uh, kind of you know line or, or land uh, Let us see here. If you go to Al Waqia,
chapter 56, verse number 29. Look at this heaven. Shade, you know, if you are a person who is, if Muhammad was born in Norway, he will not promise them shade. That is horrible to promise. But those are people of the desert. They are desperate for granary, fruits, water. And as you see, this is the buffet. Do you see it? It is obviously a buffet fit specifically with people of the desert. Again, reminder, how many of you click at the link down in the info, in the info of the video? If you did not do, we will stop going live in this channel for some time. We will give it a break. We will be doing live in the Arabian Prophet account. In the Arabian Prophet account. Please take a note. Okay? Let me actually post the link for you for the Arabian Prophet. Tomorrow we will be there. Tomorrow we will be there in that channel. One God, and you have to believe that the Prophet Muhammad is the Messiah. Oh, sorry. Let us see where. Okay. See the coming video is called "What Is Islam?" The Arabian Prophet. Sorry, the audio. I apologize. I really apologize. My mistake. I wanted to click at the screen to uh, to show. I click at the audio. I apologize. Uh, so live debate. What is Islam? This is the title. This is the video. We will be there tomorrow. Arabian Prophet. And now we can click at share here, and we will post the link for you. And this is the link. So remember, this is a different channel. This is not this is not a new channel. This is an old channel I have. But we give a break between channels so we can always be safe and have backup. So don't tell me tomorrow where I'm going to be. So why you don't come here? I'm telling you, this channel here, we will put it for sleep for some time. Maybe a few weeks, maybe a few maybe three months. We will see. All right. Uh, and always, in order to find where we are, the easiest way, you go to Patreon, as you see in the link in the screen, patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Shalom, my friend. Uh, Okay, do we have any question? Yeah, by mistake, we turn on the music. The second commandment and the divine mercy. If you have time to today. Well, Yusuf, if you can give me the question so people, they can uh, read your question in full, you know, so we can give an answer for it. All right, my friend. Give me the question again. So we remember it. And then now I'd not see your question. <clears throat> 